Let's talk about the role that, that we as adults play and how we truly, I guess, lead by example. It's a tough conversation, you know, for us to have with kids. How do you talk to a kid about, about the weight issue? Well, it's a very sensitive discussion, as you state, and what you have to do is look at the child and show the growth charts and point out to them just the facts that this is where you fall and this is where a normal weight child would fall. Um, I don't use the word fat. Um, that's a bad three-letter word in our mm -hmm. clinic. And we don't talk about diet either. We talk about lifestyle changes. You want to appeal to what the children are worried about. So for instance, getting picked on at school. If you go down that road, it's much easier to deal with the subject. Uh, for a teenage girl, she might have polycystic ovarian disease and as a result of that has a lot of acne. She might not like the acne. So you appeal to losing weight because it will help the acne. Um, so you really have to look at what is important to the kids but also to the parents. And if the <clears> parents <throat> aren't willing to have the discussion, you just leave the door open and say, if you ever want to talk about it, we're here. Here's a number to call our pediatric obesity clinic and get in touch with a dietitian. Rebecca, it really is a whole world that we're dealing with now that you know, 20, 30 years ago, we didn't deal with, dealing with kids and the sensitivity to the obesity issue, right? Absolutely, and it's much more than just language. Parents really have an opportunity to lead by example, to take their kids out, show them physical activity, get them engaged and involved. We have some great examples of physicians leading community health. We have one doctor, Dr. Fred Bannister in Barron County, who their medical society has gone into schools and has helped to remove soda and introduce water. They've given all the kids great plastic mugs to get them excited about drinking water, and they've really measured the sodium that they have in their food as well as help to encourage physical activity. So there are a lot of ways beyond language that we can really as a society help to promote healthy behaviors. We want to thank both of you for joining thank us, you. sharing your thoughts on this, this issue that is so important to all of us here and in the future of our kids in Wisconsin as well.